literally just goaded. He uh, he told me that he was planning on making this his last major and just retiring because he beat Cody. Like, he has accomplished <laughs> everything he wanted to win the game. He's pulling the Pudgy Panda. Also, shout-outs to the t the glow tag. Bitsy wearing the glow tag in reference to I Saw the TV Glow movie right now out ah. in theaters. Really, really good movie from what I've heard. Definitely check that out. I know that she likes the movie a lot. Also, follow her on Letterboxd. Facts. Facts. E-Poodle dropping edge guards. Damn, he wouldn't do that to me. So you're t you played E-Poodle and he 3-0'd you brutally. Yeah, How did he do that? Last game three. Uh -huh. like, yeah, it was but, not really close. Well, you were telling me before how he back throw cheesed you and down time. throw cheesed you the whole time. The whole time. Would you say, as, as someone who's friends with E-Poodle, ever since he was like a one and twoer, do you think his edge guarding game is the strongest part of his game versus Spacey's, or do you think it's, it's something else? He's smart. He plays Marth like... He plays Marv the character horribly. He literally really? does well because he himself is like exceptionally good. Uh huh. Dude. What do you, What do you think he does horribly about Marv? This nigga can't space for shit. He can't space. He the nigga doesn't know what a tipper is. You know, I I think I can see what you're saying, and that like he's not really playing for Marth like tipper ranges, but he's just that good. Like you saw him counter from ledge there, knowing that Fitzy would run and then do a fox full up aerial. Yeah. Gets the counter. And got a hit. Doesn't even matter though, because Fitzy is kind of all over right now, trying to rep the movie. Yeah, for real. Nice that was a slide off. Ridiculous slide Jesus off. Jesus yeah. Christ! Look at this dash back, dude. Dash back into run away. What are these? You see what I'm saying? This nigga can't tip her for shit. Like, it doesn't even matter though. Gets the dunk. Like I've been telling, he pulled this since like 2022 when I like when I first really met him. Yeah, like when just, he when he was worse, like when I could actually hold my own versus him, like he still couldn't tip for that. You can still hold your own versus you, Poodle. Kinda. He, kinda. He's he's a lot better than me. And I mean, I'm he's not, good. I'm not you got to say that. at this nightclub. You're no slouch. That's fair. And flinging, Fitzy. flinging you, Poodle all around. Nice edge like guard. a bouncy ball. Nice edge guard. E Poodle just withered and died in his chair. Wow, that is. I don't know. It just. I see more energy out of him a lot of the times. It doesn't even matter that he missed that. He can still follow up. He's just that fast. Yeah. Like, like I said, he's really good. Like, he really is a great player. He just. Like, I'm gonna be honest. Like, if he was a Sheik, he'd probably be like top three. In New York. I cannot believe. That E Poodle just kept Fitzy in the corner. She's trying to come out the ring. And then he threw out the F smash because in his head, because that F smash doesn't work if Fitzy's ledge dash is perfect. And he said to Fitzy, Your ledge dash is fucking suck. Yeah. I'm gonna execution test the daylights out of you and gets the stop. That's crazy. Like, you know, melee is a conversation between you people. He He's also a really confident he, player. He is a confident player. He did not trust Fitzy's tech skill. Fitzy's a good player. She's on a box too. Yeah. She has like, really good execution. But at that one spot, he just knew. That's crazy. I'm sorry, I'm going saying. off about that for like 40 seconds. Saying. No, no, you're good, because like it's the facts. We saw the TV glow. <laughs> You know, Fitzy with a pretty commanding lead right now, and she was in charge the whole game that last game, and Ipudu found his way back. This is the way that Fitzy found her way back to center stage here, and... Like, 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 like he, he's good in neutral, but, like, he doesn't space. <laughs> like, he really doesn't fucking space. What a beautiful shine, realizing that Ipudu had his, used up his jump already. as the Cody-esque shine you see in a lot of his, uh... Beautifully crafted edge guards. Fitzy taking one out of Cody's book. That was some great gameplay by Epoodle. He realized he couldn't oh, get any. What the fuck? That was some insane gameplay. I don't know if I would call it great or wild or wicked, but it worked. He, like, he, yo, Kai Nell said something to me about Epoodle once. He's a madman. He's like kind of like wild. I like, feel like he's... all the Marths in New York are kind of wild. You know, Fro116, Epoodle, Yo, Kai Nels. Yeah. A lot of crazy horse. demon Marth players coming out of the, the limelight. Even Horse could drive. Like, horse could know. drive some crazy stuff. He's doing a game of Axe. Do you know how hard that yeah, is? Yeah, like. Hey, shout out Jeffo. Shout out Bot. <laughs> like, for real, for real. 
Hey man, Jeff Hall took a game off Kato. Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> Jeff Hall's pretty solid. But uh, Fitzy is all over Ekoto right now. She is not letting him get anything started. Like, even the, her recoveries are incredible as well. Just mixing up, you know, going above with the up B, side B, sweet spotting the ledge. And it feels like a lot of Ekoto's edge guards are reads in that he's been going for, you know, like the raw down to the raw F smash. And Fitzy's mix ups and recoveries are just so varied that he cannot get the read because Fitzy is so unpredictable. It's a fact. That's a fact. And, and, and it is very important versus Marf. You gotta have different recoveries. A nice shine spike attempt from Fitzy. Unfortunately, she does not get it. Um, I hate that up tilt um, because the up tilt is fucking brutal. Um, e Poodle gets the kill off it. E Poodle destination. For real. It should be called ED, not erectile dysfunction. It is. <laughs> what? <laughs> 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 what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. It's E Pudo oh Destination, God. Eli Destination, not erectile dysfunction. Oh and look at this nigga. Look, look at this nigga, bro. Look at this nigga, bro. This nigga hard right now, all right? This nigga hard as fuck, all right? Hard as fuck to beat on the stage. Yes. I'll, I'll, I'll be the one to tell you that. It is famously easy for Foxes to get obliterated on the stage by Marth players of the caliber as E Poodle. And despite Fitzy's pretty, you know, commanding neutral that she's been showing throughout these games. And reco recovery, recovery, recovery being great, edge guarding being on par with Cody's at sometimes. E Poodle just has, you know, has the sauce. That's the thing is like, he's really fucking good. Like, he just raw grabs for the, he, I'm, I'm why would, you, why would you go for the down tilt? That's tippers. so crazy. Allergic to tempers. And it worked out. That's ridiculous. It's Bro, like I'm telling his fucking ass at Marv. It's his fighting spirit. He is just using his raw willpower and pushing this character forward. He's literally so ass at Marv. I've never seen a more ass Marv player. He's playing Marv like Roy. Bro, like literally. I don't think you can uh, CC that, but I'm not sure. He just dashed back out of the corner again. Uh, I've been uh, noticing that Fitzy's been getting caught by that a uh, handful of times. Oh, first step of the set. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I love the drift on Fitzy's nair there. Like, going a little bit outside of the shield range and only yeah. being able to, like, hit E Poodle if you were to move. That is so funny. Bro. Bro, yo, e gets me tight sometimes. He's just like, bro, why are you like this? e why are you is a different like beast. This? It's just... Like, I don't even know how to describe this, because, like, when I watch Fro 116 play, it's so, like, methodical and calculated, but also looks so... Goofy. Wild and goofy. But it works out. With e it's like... It feels like a parallel universe for a 116, where I feel like a lot of the stuff is so unconventional and you wouldn't expect it to work. And he just makes it makes it happen. However, Fitzy makes also it happen makes that, shine. that shine spike happen. That was, we, we said the same shit. That's crazy. Yo, okay. Well, it looks like Fitzy starting to get her hands on this nigga right now. Because normally I would definitely Ooh. favor Marv on the stage versus spaces in general, but Fitzy. She kind of put in that work right now. Yeah. She ain't even at 69. Mark and killer. Oh hold up. my. He put a still to the tippers. Can't do it. He saw that he got a tipper. He was like, nah, I'm good. That's so funny. He, he just, just whipped and smash that. Doesn't roll. matter. Rolls out the corner the exact same way. Up and just up beep, but Uncle Punch test. The Uncle Punch training uh, yeah, the Fit event. Fitzy, I think, tried to tech it and shaking her head because she could not. You got to go Uncle Punch, Fitzy. You got to grind that shit. And in a payback from the first, the last stock of the first game, Fitzy's like, you can't ledge dash. Dumbass really? Marth. Yeah. Up smash to the face. Send her to the heavens. Even if you Send can't ledge dash, you only got four Galint. That shit is garbage. That shit is garbage. Yeah, even that ledge dash there wasn't the greatest, but... Not punished at all by Ipuro. Look at Ipuro drifting in with fucking forward airs and is not getting punished. He's just swatting the air. Like, he's not even aiming at Fitzy. Look at him rolling out the corner every yeah. fucking time. Like, well, it's like every single time Ipuro has any, like, actionable frames, he just throws out a move immediately. Like, he doesn't really dash dance that much. He's always just throwing out a move. 
Okay, as I say that, they, yeah, oh, they can hear us talking. They can hear us talking. Fucking time. That's the longest dash as he's done the whole set. Yeah, like, like and I think that's the reason why Ipoodle, uh, Fitzy's been doing so well with him is because she realizes that all Ipoodle has, like, most of Ipoodle's options at level one are throw out a fair or throw out a down tilt. Ipoodle low so key reminds me of, like, Bills. I can see that. I can actually see that. Wow. I, yeah, Bills definitely plays with this, too. We're a very, a very swingy mark. But, like, also, like, stationary. Yes. You know? Like, doesn't really take space too much with the fairs in the downfield. It kind of just, like, stays generally in place. I would say Ipuru takes a little more space than Bills, because at least when I play Bills, that nigga literally doesn't oh? move. This is the same way the first game ended. Look at him missing L cancel. He just immediately rolls out. It doesn't fucking matter. That was the world's worst slide off Nair of he all time. He definitely fucked up. That was definitely absolutely up. not intended whatsoever. You can see the smile and laughing, taking a deep breath. Orange nails, orange hair. She's excited. She is very she, she excited to play. She senses blood in the water. Fitzy the Piranha? Fitzy the Piranha? Or are we going to get a, uh, um, you know. Is Marth going to win or is Fox going to win tonight at Nightclub Losers Finals? Fitzy kind of looking like, well, I'm going to be honest, like. Like what? She's she kind of looking on point right now. Like, I'm, I'm going to be honest. Like, she's she kind of looking a little poised. Ipudo looking... They're pretty even. I don't know. She like, like, but like being I, able to do this is important. I see what you mean. Like, she's playing really patient. Like, dash dancing over a character length away from Ipudo and making it so Ipudo has to be the one to approach or reading when Ipudo's going to dash back and then, you know, firing out an aerial in the midst of Ipudo's lag. I saw that Ipudo... Rolled again out the corner, but Fitzy actually read it, but she fucked up the punish, and it doesn't matter because she ended up getting the just kill. Getting up tilts four times in a row, and Fitzy trying to mix up options, and Ipudo not. Ipudo was just like, ah, Unga Bunga up tilt. I swear to God. I feel like it's calculated. It, it definitely is. The first up tilt, you know, I'm gonna mix up the second one. Bro, this nigga just. Oh my. Yo, I watched this morph, bro, and I get so angry. You get angry. It he's frustrates so, you. He's so good at You don't understand the levels of depth to the cerebral reality that Ipoodle is demonstrating for us. He's like the Dumb only thing he spaces is his fucking grab. That's all he needs to simplify the gameplay. I, he literally this can't is timber. So funny. Bro, <laughs> what the fuck is he doing? <laughs> you say this as if he's not about to be up three stocks to one. He is destroying Fitzy right now. That's crazy. But Fitzy taking a second to breathe. This is so doable. You put a light shield on the side platform. Fitzy needs a massive opening right now to even get something started. Like, is someone in the chat tell me what the hell this no. nigga is doing, bro? Because, like, he ain't do shit but stand there. And... He and three packs. And he three stocked her. That was the best performance he had that whole set. That was a dominant three stock. And you.